welcome to the Options Process 2021. This is the information for Geography GCSE. We currently do Educast B, and so if you want any more information, you can always look on their website. I'm Miss Banks, I'm the Curriculum Lead for Geography. My email address is there, should you want to contact me if you have any questions. So what is it, and what will you do in it? Well, geography is the study of the world around you. It's always in the news. It's about everything that you do on an everyday basis. So it's about the issues that affect you and affect your world. Geography looks at a wide range of issues and we evaluate possible solutions. So if you want to be something that requires you looking at problems and creating solutions, this is a good option for you. It also builds on all the knowledge and the skills and the understanding that you've done at Case Stage 3. There won't be anything that you haven't had a very basic look at at Year 7, 8 and 9 in the GCSE, but we do look at it in much more depth than we do build upon all of those skills, knowledge and understanding that you have already learned. It gives you a really wide range of important skills. We do field work, we look at research, you learn how to present well, we complete investigations, we look at inquiries into things, we learn how to discuss and to communicate effectively. And we do a lot of thinking skills. These are all really good transferable skills into other subjects or into the world of work. We cover three themes. We have theme one, this is our human geography. We look at things like urbanisation, globalisation. We look at what it's like in the countryside and in the town, our urban and rural differences and change. We look at development issues, what it's like to live in countries that are low income rather than just to our own high income countries and how we can help those countries to develop. In theme two, we look at the physical geography aspects. We look at the rivers and the coast. We look at weather and climate and we look at how we're affecting those. Theme three is our environmental geography. We look at the ecosystems, where plants and animals live and how they are under threat. We look at water, how that resource is stretched, what we can do to help that in the future, how we can manage these things so that we can stop things from happening, processes like desertification, which causes issues for food and water in various parts of the world. We also do a fieldwork component. Now, in normal circumstances, we would go out on a trip or on two trips. We'd look at a human landscape, we'd look at a physical landscape. However, at the moment, we're currently not allowed to do those because of the current restrictions, but I'm hopeful that by the time you get into year 10 and 11, that those will be able to go ahead again. This is our journey. So the purple ones are our human geography, the yellow are our physical geography, and the pink is our environmental geography. We do dip into other bits while we're doing them because there are links between human, physical and environmental that we can't ignore. And it follows a nice flow and you can see that it follows on from Key Stage 3. How will you be assessed? Well, I've talked about um, our three themes. Our three themes are what you would need to revise our facts for our paper one, which is probably what you would call a traditional content style paper. You revise, you get a question on theme one, a question on theme two, and a question on theme three. Paper two is a decision making paper. This is where you are given information in the form of photographs, graphs, things to read, and you look at the problem, you make a decision on how to solve that problem, you write up your decision and you justify it. Paper three is based on the field work that we'll have been out on. During the two year course, obviously you're going to be assessed by a classroom teacher to help you to improve. At the end of every topic, we take a style of paper, either paper one, two or three, and we do a little end of topic test. This tells you what you need to revise. One of the big things people do is they revise what they already know. We do practice exams in year 10 and big mock exams in year 11 using past papers. This gets you used to the style and doesn't allow you to be as shocked when you go in the exam because you're used to it. So it calms those nerves. We practice our higher mark questions. We do lots of quiz styles. We practice maps and graphs and comprehension using those past papers within the lessons. And this makes you much more confident at the formal assessment stage. I've talked about the three components. Component one is worth 40%, component two is worth 30%, component three is also worth 30%. Those are added together and that's how you get your mark. So what can you do with geography? Well, geography is a bit unique. It studies 
the physical side, so it has really good links to science, and it studies the human side, and it has really good links to English. It also has a lot of maths in it. It has um, studies of the past, the present, and tries to find solutions for the future. So it's got really good links to things like history for looking at the past as well. So it can lead on to a real wide variety of A-levels and apprenticeships. It also helps to support your core subjects because of those links to English, Maths and Science that we cover. It means that you can use what you learn in geography to support your core subjects. Employers really love geography. It gives you a big mix of skills. It gives you those skills of working as a team and of independent learning. It gives you really good communication skills. And this means that graduates of geography have some of the highest rates of graduate employment because employers really like the skills that you learn. There's lots of jobs that geography can take you into. If you are looking to do a career that is about the environment, that's anything that we live in or plants or animals live in, anything to do with planning or mapping, anything that's in tourism, anything that's about analysing data or researching information or anything to do with laws and governance, then geography can really help you in those. So in short, if you're actually not sure what you want to be when you leave school, or you're not sure what you want to do, you're not sure what A-levels or apprenticeship or career, then actually geography is a brilliant option for you because it covers and supports most of the other curriculum subjects. It provides you with a massive range of transferable skills for other subjects, for educational purposes and for the world of work. And it's about your world. It's about the world you live in and the world you're going to live in. So therefore, if you're interested in your own world, then it's a really good option for you to do. A good thing to do would be to talk to some of the Air 10s or 11s who've taken geography if you're in a situation where you can do that, because then they'll give you a good understanding of what we actually do in geography. So thank you for listening, and I look forward to welcoming lots of you into geography in Year 10, because it's a really popular option and I know that we're going to get a really good uptake this year because I know that there are a lot of people who want those transferable skills and who want to learn about the world that they live in. So I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks very much for listening.